Good evening, I'm Alex Stierkman. A U.S. District Court judge says Indiana must recognize the out-of-state marriage of one same-sex couple. Nikki Kwasny and Amy Sandler married in Massachusetts last year. The couple is part of a lawsuit challenging the state's marriage statute, but they also asked for emergency recognition of their marriage because Kwasny is terminally ill with ovarian cancer. A U.S. District Court judge granted that request, ordering the state to recognize the marriage. The couple's attorney says the ruling comes as a relief. She will have the comfort and security to know that Indiana is now recognizing uh, their same-sex uh, uh, their same-sex uh, marriage from the state of Massachusetts, and um, that they have the security to know that in the event of Nikki's passing, um, that uh, she will uh, Amy Sandler will be recognized as a surviving spouse. The judge's ruling expires in about a month when another hearing will determine whether the order should be extended. And Indiana University is raising its minimum wage to $8.25 per hour, putting them above the federal minimum wage of $7.25 per hour. The increase will cost the university about $1 million and will affect nearly 9,000 employees. Two-thirds of those employees work on the Bloomington campus, largely in the housing and dining services. Earlier this year, IU trustee Patrick Shoulder suggested the university needed to raise its minimum wage to 10.10 per hour, in line with President Barack Obama's proposal. Shoulder says he's pleased the university is taking what he sees as a first step to increasing the quality of life for its employees. And here's a look at the weather tonight, a 90% chance of thunderstorms, 53 degrees at the low. And here's a look at the five-day forecast Friday, a 20% chance of rain, 68 degrees is the high, 76 degrees on Saturday and partly cloudy, 57 degrees as the low.